Okay, it's, it's Mr. Dorsey again. I'm going to uh, do page four of the homework. I'm going to do problem one, nine, and ten. So let's work on number one. I'm going to rewrite the problem because I don't have enough space to do all the operations. I'm currently subtracting and multiplying. Now, I recommend you always uh, keep change, change this so it makes more sense. Addition is easier to undo when the variable's following it. So I'm going to keep change, change that. And I get 3 plus negative 4z. Again, I kept that. Changed it from subtraction to addition and changed the positive to a negative. And then once I've done that, I want to, now I'm currently adding an, a 3 to this side. I want to subtract 3 from both sides. And I get 44 is greater than negative 4z. And now I, sub, I divide both sides by negative 4. When I divide by a negative, my sign flips. I'm going to have to come over here. So positive divided by negative is a negative. 44 divided by 4 is 11. This side becomes z. And I flip my sign, which was greater than, now it says less than. So negative 11 is less than z, which means z is greater than negative 11. Greater than sign does not require as much lead, therefore it's an open circle. In other words, it does not include 11. It's not equal to 11. And z is greater than negative 11, so I go to negative 11 and I say greater than. Sorry, there's a lot of background noise. If you can hear it, I don't know. That's what it looks like. All right, let's do 9 and 10 and wrap this up. All right, let's see. So, uh, let's see. There we go. We have 21 is greater than or equal to negative 2n plus 5. I'm going to rewrite the whole thing. Negative 2n plus 5. So I have addition and multiplication. I'm going to undo the addition first because I undo PEMDAS in reverse. So I subtract 5 from both sides. When I do that, I get 16 is greater than or equal to negative 2n. And I divide both sides by negative 2 now. When I divide by a negative, my sign flips, and I get negative 8 is less than or equal to n. So less than or equal to is a solid dot, and less, uh, so negative 8 is less than or equal to n, which means n is greater than or equal to negative 8. So my arrow goes to the right. Last one. I'm going to erase that circle so we can see it. 5 is less than or equal to negative 2 plus q divided by 3. So this is addition and division. I can undo the addition with subtraction. I'm adding a negative 2, so I want to subtract negative 2 from both sides. I don't know how to do that, so I keep change, change. Subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. And when I do that, I get 7 is less than or equal to q divided by 3. Now I'm currently dividing by 3, so I multiply both sides by 3. It's a positive 3 I multiply by Therefore, 3 times 7 is 21. And I do not flip my sign because I'm multiplying by a positive. 21 is less than or equal to Q, which means Q is greater than or equal to 21. Go to 21. Greater than or equal to is a solid dot. And then, because it's more lead, it's solid dot. And greater than or equal to goes to the right. That is the last of all four pages that I'm going to do. I hope you got a benefit from this.